lotion. This is my new hand. When I first met Padma Lotion, I was really struck by how intelligent, resourceful, and altogether adorable um, this little boy was. It was only later that I noticed he had a partially formed right hand. I also happened to work with 3D printing technology for Materialize, a Belgian company with its regional headquarters here in KL. Most of our staff here work on medical applications of this technology, including myself. And I'd come across Enable, um, which is a volunteer organization that provides hand prosthesis to children like Padma Lotion for free. When Padma Lotion was first born, we actually looked up and found out that his condition was called Amelia. Now, uh, there were not many treatment options available in Malaysia. We did consult a few surgeons and they said they really did not offer anything much in Malaysia itself. Uh, then when I looked into these uh, bionic arms and uh, all these prostheses, the issue was the cost. Lah. So we were uh, contemplating what to do and all. Till I actually met Aishwarya in uh, my Sai Centre. So that's when she introduced, I mean she actually uh, noted to me about this uh, 3D printing and all. So when this 3D printing came about and it gave the option of at least doing some basic function to get back some basic function like grasping things which we normal able-bodied people take for granted. So Enable were actually very easy to work with and they gave me access to their design engineering files. I then roped in my colleagues Mahadi and Faiz to help me tweak the designs to make it more specific to Padma Lotion's situation and also to our own 3D printing capabilities. So we had a few iterations to get it just right. And then with all the hype around 3D printing, it's easy to assume that just press a button and whoa, there's a part. But in reality, there is actually a lot of engineering and thought process that goes into it. So we were really excited to give the hand to Padma Lotion and see how he'd be able to use it. I can see that he's more confident. Of course, before this, he's able to, I mean, when we throw a ball, he's able to catch and all. But with the hand, today as the first day or so, he looks so, so much more confident in catching the ball and all. So I think it's just a matter of time and learning. And eventually, he will be able to do a lot of things with the hand.